Yes, so a, a banker has a transaction banker should or must have a, a much greater awareness of client strategy. So in terms of that, what does that mean for the competitive strategy of transaction banks? No, it, I think it, it starts in this whole equation with, do I really understand the business model of the client? Uh, so what are all the underlying cash flows, but also how has the, how has the client organized itself in its own technical infrastructure and how do we connect with that? And that's, of course, a different skill set than we previously do when, for example, you look at corporate finance, right? That's, that's, that's a totally different aspect of banking. And it is not only the salespeople or the commercial banker that sells this and have this dialogue with this client. There's also the implementation folks that need to implement a piece of tech, but it's also client services, as Robert just said, where clients need to do inquiries on a certain payment or on the balances of our cash pool, or why is this not, why didn't I receive this piece of data? So that constant interaction, I think, is very important. That is so different compared to, I think, the other parts of banking. And, and to the stickiness, right, of balances, of course, it has a very strong element of balance sheet management as well, which is much more seen as traditional part of banking. So these two worlds really come together, come together here. So that's, uh, Brian, that I think that's also where, where you see totally different skill set. 